Okay, we have the news. So uh, we have the, I think the news that everyone has been waiting for. I'm going to go ahead and pull this up right now, see exactly what Adam said. But, ladies and gentlemen, NFL owners have unanimously approved the $6.05 billion sale of the Washington Commanders from Dan Snyder to a group led by Josh Harris per league sources. So the votes are in. And the sale of the Commanders to Harris, Rails, Magic Johnson, and their group of limited partners, it's done. The final hurdle has been cleared. The only thing left is the paperwork to be signed. And Dan Snyder will finally be gone after 24 years. His reign of terror, incompetence, and embarrassment is over. Ladies and gentlemen, the burgundy and gold has been sold. So we will have live reaction uh, in just a moment here from the bullpen. Uh, Tim, tell you what, I would love to uh, just kind of let, you know, put that, that big crowd mic up in a second. Uh, band's finishing the song right now. I'm sure people around, I, like, I don't know, Michael, if you heard this, like people have, have already said, like, they're clearly getting the news, right? People are on their phones. They see the Schefter tweet. You hear a couple people giving the woo, giving the celebration. Uh, so as soon as... Uh, as soon as this happens here, we'll get the big crowd reaction. But it's here. And uh, we'll also take your calls next, 301-230-0980. Go ahead and start stacking up. Uh, Haney is back in studio ready to talk to you. 301-230-0980 is the phone number. And we'll get your reaction. How are you feeling? It is done. Dan Snyder is going to be selling the commanders. Uh, it's been approved. All the hurdles have been cleared. It is just a matter of signing paperwork. Uh, this is this is the time when you're buying a house that you pop the champagne. The house is yours. You still have to go to the closing and do all that stupid paperwork. But the house is yours, and in this case, it's the team is yours once again. It's it's hard to put into words uh, as someone who's covered this for eight years what today ultimately means because it is still a, a path to be forged. It's still a path to be cleared, a path to be traveled down. It's something that we know is going to take time to build back up the infrastructure or even just, you know, forget infra, the structure that Doc was talking about uh, just a few moments ago. What, what it's going to take to get FedEx Field to be a place that people actually want to go for, you know, people to feel proud of this team, for them to have the people in the right places in the football organization to win games in the way that we want them to obviously over the course of not just an instant like Rams-esque surge and then rapid decline but to be competitive over the course of time but that can't happen without good leadership and based off of everything I know about Josh Harris he is the right type of person to do this is he the only person that could have done it probably not um, it seems like a lot of other owners have figured out how to do it um, the NFL, in a lot of ways, is about just hiring the right people. And to hire the right people, you need some talent identification skills, but also a willingness to pay. And, you know, Jerry Jones has paid for years. Uh, Kraft has paid in New England. And, you know, they played uh, McVay in L.A. And, and Stan Kroenke uh, has been one to do that. Josh Harris, he didn't pay $6.05 billion to not pay. But junkies are taking the stage here uh, at the bullpen. So we're going to try to... Get, get this pumped up real quick. I hope you guys have refilled your drinks because the time that we've been waiting for is officially upon us. So gather around, come on up, let's all celebrate in the fact that the Washington Commanders are no longer owned by one Daniel Snyder. The law you see right there is officially over. So let's everybody raise them up. Let me see them up on the deck. Raise up your glasses, raise up your bottles, and let's drink to a fun new era. The nightmare is done. Dan Snyder is dead. Long live Josh Harris. The commanders are in good hands now. Let's celebrate here at the bullpen. Here, here, cheers. Let's go. There you hear it. Cakes from the junkies telling the crowd here at the bullpen. Man, what a day, what a day. As, uh... I thought we were gonna thought we were get some real uh, shenanigans up there for a second, but I mean, again, like it's gonna take time for this to ultimately sink in. But the biggest hurdle has been cleared, um, you know, and and I think 
there were so many people that doubted that this time was going to come. There's so many people that doubted that, you know, oh, he's never going to do it. And, and that's, I think, what I was getting to earlier, right? As someone who got here in 2015 covering this team, you were just resigned to the fact that they were going to be bad for a long time. And, you know, they have these years where they bubble up, like 2012, like 2015, like 2007. There's too many good players in the NFL and too many good coaches around to be able to, you know, be terrible forever. I mean, the Browns, like, think about this, right? The Jets have the longest playoff streak in the league. That's 10 years. It's been 2010 or 12 years at this point. Um, the Commanders are the only team in, since 1991 to not have an 11-win season. Everybody else in the last 25 years has won 11 games at least once. It's ultimately always going to be cyclical. The question is, can you break the the baseline minimum of being okay every once in a while? And that's what this new leadership means. It also means, more importantly, that when you say, I'm a Commanders fan, there's no one that's going to look at you sideways. There's no one that's going to look at you and say, how could you possibly root for that team? The embarrassment, the shame, if you felt any, whether it was something you felt internally or something that was put on you by others, is gone. The deal has been approved, according to Adam Schefter of ESPN. We expect Roger Goodell to announce it officially very soon. We will carry that for you live here on the Team 980. Your calls, though. Let's fear, hear the joy, DC. I see B. Mitch in. We'll probably get him on in just a few moments. So, lots to go here. Hour two, the party gets started on the Hoffman Show, on the Team 980, and always live on the free Odyssey app.